and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some five color reborn. Um, this is one of my favorite decks to play because Niv Mizzet Reborn is just such a fun card to play. The animation is awesome. Uh, you get to draw uh, lots of cards, usually on average right around three, I would say, uh, cards per per time whenever you play Niv Mizzet here. It just makes this deck a whole lot of fun to play. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get back to it. As you can see here, we're mostly a, a control deck. You can tell with like the Deafening Clarions, the Kaya's Wraths. Um, our other removal. Uh, we're mostly just a, a control deck that's uh, trying to stick around and live long enough for our, our threats here with Reborn with a big flyer that draws a lot of cards. And then, of course, Hydroid Crisis is another big flyer that draws a lot of cards. Mana base wise, you know, I was kind of going back over it again. I, I got another green source in here because we only had like the, the four <laughs> green sources. So we got a fifth with another Temple Garden. Uh, every time that we've played it before, we've only had four, so we got a fifth green land. Because green mana is like our, out of the five colors, is the one that we need like the latest. You know, we only have these uh, green cards where we, we don't really need Golgari Queen or Johnny immediately, and same with Reborn and Krasis, so we're more focused on our other colors early. Um, Sideboard-wise, I'm changing up some things. I got an Assassin's Trophy in here that we didn't have before uh, for another, like, you know, another removal spell. Uh, that a good hit off of Niv Mizzet. I'm going to try having an Ashiok. Um, again, we can get this off of Niv Mizzet because it's a two color card. Um, you know, basically, yeah, if you don't really quite understand what Niv Mizzet's doing, every, every uh, two color pair, you can take a card. You know, you can take a blue black card and a, and a white, uh, blue white card, and so on. So you want two color pairs. For your cards, it's a Guilds Matter card. So yeah, we got a trophy and, and an Ashiok. So those are our two new cards. In this deck that I didn't have before, um, I took out the I had a Tristani in the sideboard for the mass manipulation decks, but don't see a whole lot of mass manipulation decks running around these days, so I took out the Tristani from the sideboard over there. So yeah, let's give this uh, let's give this uh, deck a try. Five color reborn. In fact, you want know let's play some ranked. Play some ranked with five color reborn. Oh, I want. Ooh. I didn't realize my ranking was so bad. Cool. We'll try to get up. Let's see. I want a different. The name let's go with Nickel Bolas. Will resonate throughout the multiverse. Nickel Bolas and Niv Mizzet are friends, right? Right. That's that's how that works, right? All right, we're gonna play this in ranked. <laughs> it's kind of a love-hate thing. All right, turn four, Niv Mizzet. Unfortunately, like the Niv Miz is very good, but unfortunately the Ajani and the Kaya's Wrath, not so much here. No, I am not making this up as I go. I'll still just play the Chromatic Lantern over playing the Ajani. Ajani just gains some life, doesn't really do anything for us in this matchup. It's our it's our anti aggro card that. It, um, it's a very important piece of beating mono red in here. Here we go. And I will discard Kaya's Wrath. All right, what do we got? All right, I'll take Thought Erasure. We have to choose between Thought Razor or Discovery. 
See, that's a sweet animation. Little five mana, six, six flyer, draw four. Pretty good card. Pretty good card. Don't worry. I got this. So do they want to like tuck my Niv Mizzet with the fairy? Let me do this all over again. Let's slow this down. Okay. We'll get that Niv Mizzet you need to take a time back out. here in a little bit. No problem. Just have another one. Um, I do want to get rid of the big Teferi, right? I don't want them just to be able to draw extra cards. I want to get rid of, you know, both their Teferis. So, yes, my Vraska will die to the Bell Haunt, but, you know, get both the Teferis out of here. Yeah, no arena, just just codes. It seems fortune favors you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be drawing a lot of cards. No, Nemez it's gone. <laughs> Yeah, we're drawing a lot of cards. All right, so we don't want a Johnny, Kaya's Wrath, or Clarion. Those are only like really dead cards. Expansion Explosion's not incredible here either, but let's, so let's see. So we got one Elder Spell, one Narset, two Disparks, two Dovin's Vetoes, um, the Trophy, Tamio, and Ashiok. Both the Kaya's cool. Okay, so we kind of have a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I'll get rid of Expansion Explosion. I have played this matchup a good amount of times by just cutting Chromatic Lantern. But it's certainly possible to get stuck on green mana without Chromatic Lantern. I guess they could be Hero Precinct 1. So maybe I should keep Akaya's Wrath in. Let's try this. Um, they could have Thief of Sanity. Yeah, they could. Thief doesn't... Not everybody's playing Thiefs in their sideboards, because Thief doesn't really go that well against Little Teferi. Oh, two lands and then like this hand, like this this is like an awesome hand with two lands, but then you look at the two lands and you're like, what are these things? <laughs> Alright, this can work. All right, looking for lands. We got good spells. Those are lands. So if I keep them both, I'll have blue, black, white, green, red. Yes. We will have perfect mana for niv Reborn. See, don't need, don't need Chromatic Lantern. We're perfect.
Bell hunt. I don't know what I want to do. I think I may just ditch Krasis. Yeah. Can I have that last turn? Dueling you will be excellent reason. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. I guess Thought Erasure is a four of. That would be a good card to draw. Dang. Those are like all good cards. He did the M20 pre-order and it froze. No. The thoughtfulness before action. Maybe they're just keeping it. Oh, Elder Spell? Gross. Become too involved with my work. Gross. Only with two hits here, with the Thought Erasure and Dispark. There was a, that's where our land pile was after milling over all these. Meditate. That Tamiyo really hurt me. If I just don't play the Tamiyo, my Niv Mizzet's a lot better. <laughs> Should have just discarded Tamiyo to Bell Hunt. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Niv Mizzet Reborn animation is awesome. Hey, what's up, Sway? Took my thought erasure, huh? <laughs> yeah, people were really, they were scooping pretty hard to the bacon. Ilhar, they were like, Ilharg, scoop. I shall miss your company. I don't know if, like, because of Command the Dread Horde, I don't, I don't know if, like, I should be disparking that. Yeah, I don't want to dispark that thing. I right on, I kept set. the Woodland Cemetery in, in hand in case there was another Bell Haunt. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Not bad, not bad. You definitely want creature removal. Or sorry, planeswalker removal. The more planeswalker removal, the better. Cool. So I kept Elder Spells more valuable, so I kept that on top. No, no time for a break. So I'll let them draw like another card or tuck. Hopefully we refill our hand. So Golgari Queen. Uh, Teferi. And then... Uh, just have like the two cards in hand. Maybe Discovery? Yeah, I'll go Discovery. I 
It's certainly possible they play another Planeswalker here where we Elder Spell other things there. <laughs> yep. Play one card. Play a card, draw three. You know what? I'm not They're not kidding. tucking Niv Mizzet. It's unfortunate. Yeah, that's true. The Golgari Queen, that is an odd card to bin, right? There are so many own your prowess. That is a really odd card to bend. I am not going to sit this one out. You just let me know if you're up. Still for have round much two. to learn. Farewell. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder why Golgari Queen. All right, we're one to know. Yeah. Taken down Espa Control with our five color reborn deck. This mana base will work, right? So yeah, need to start with Hinterland Harbor there because the Hinterland Harbor is going to always come into play tapped. I can pay the two life if I want to have the Blood Crypt not come into play tapped kind of thing. But the Harbor is just definitely always coming into play tapped. Oh, I could have I could have just owed the Kaya that. I, I should have just done that. I was kind of focused on Kaya's Wrath, but... Good, glad I'm waited. So I could dispersal to to balance that, but let's discovery. Let's look for something good. Uh, <laughs> sure. I mean, I have I have the I have the mana. We can keep discovering. You know, looking for Niv Mizzet reborn, Krasis. I don't want that one. Niv visit. So I'm basically just keeping the Clarion because that's a card that you know, it's a card that we get. Oh, love it. Plus, like the Clarion, we can give our Niv Mizzet lifelink. Link. 
So like I can just not block if they want to attack if they're trying to like attack and shock. Like I'm just gonna not block. Um, Cause Clarion can like clear up these things, give my give my Niv Mizzet life link, and then I can Oath Akaya to finish off the Phoenix. Clary on my way with someone. That's a good song. They have double shock. Rude. All right, how are we doing on Hydro Crisis here? We have eight mana. Sure. And boom goes the dynamite. Going to game two. To spark, to spark. Kaya's Wrath. One more Clarion. Maybe not both. Um, I think I'll take out the Time Raveler. And I'll take out the Expansion. And... Maybe take out the Golgari Queen? Oh, really? Oh, God. yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess this would be the first. Yeah, Pujols, it's been this long since the Angels have gone to St. Louis. It's crazy. See, Sway, I don't, I don't like Pujols and the, and the Cardinals and everything. I'm a, I'm a big Rangers fan. You know, I had season tickets those two years during those two years, the Rangers went to the World Series, and I was at those World Series games against the Cardinals. I was at those games, the, Tex the ones in Texas. You would have gone minus one rampage, minus one discovery. I could see that. The thing about discovery, I was thinking, is like like Phoenix may be a little maybe kind of tough, and they could have like a mortal sun, which could be tough. And so I actually really like the dispersal part of discovery. For one thing. The next thing is with how the mana is in this deck, discovery is actually just pretty crucial of like having that surveil too and everything. It it really is important in this deck. Um so I, I don't want to cut Discovery, but yeah, Rampage Rampage could be a cut, but I was thinking Rampage for, not really for destroying a creature, but if they have like the Planeswalker that we want to destroy, or um, or if they have, yeah, again, if they had Immortal Sun. We can't play the Steam Vents to cast Kaya's Wrath, of course, so, so I'm not doing that. Ugh. This just didn't work out. This didn't work out. If we were on the play instead of on the draw, we could have killed that growth chamber. You know, like they play turn two growth chamber guardian, we'd clarion on it on turn three, and this is a much different game. You know, like we, you know, take nothing from that card. But as is, this game's over.
considering taking out a Johnny for something else. No, I'm going to keep it, though. Blair. Blair. We have 26 lands in here. So our 7 and 6 being 1 land, 1 land. Not good. Please no rekindling phoenix again. Please no rekindling phoenix. Because this would take out a phoenix. If I had the other land, you know, if I if I keep the land, I could Kai's Wrath plus Rampage. <sighs> Dang it. So yeah, we'll see if we draw the land now. Okay. I won't hide from the world. Let's take it back. So yeah, I thought about keeping that shock land like where I could have that, but you know, I thought there was a chance that we just draw another land. You know, if we don't have that, I, I definitely don't want the shock land. I look forward to making only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> now what? Ugh. <sighs> Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Dang. It happens with our decks sometimes. We just stumble. That Rekindling Phoenix, both both those games, but you know, Rekindling Phoenix just can't wrath that thing away. That's a rough one. Still, even after that Mold of Five, I thought we had an okay chance that they didn't have Phoenix on four. But they had Phoenix. And then we were in a lot of trouble. Okay. Good hand. <clears throat> Good Grixis control looking hand here. Are they playing Grixis? Possibly.
All right, so I'll discard one of the lanterns. I mean, I guess, I mean, like, they're going to bedevil the other lantern. Well, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't bedevil lantern. All right, playing the Nimmizit while we have the green mana with the lantern, and you know, before that goes away. Vlarkin, hey, glad you're enjoying that Soul Trek control list. Yeah, it is difficult to pile it, but awesome. Yeah, very competitive, rewarding when you make the right decisions. Cool. Yeah, I really liked playing that one the other day too. Yeah, glad to hear. All right, good. They bedeviled the Reborn, not the Lantern. So we get to get rid of Kefnet, which is awesome. So we get to Teferi and then Thought Erasure it. Um. Yeah, you want... Yeah, you're... Yeah, Lord, you want a consistent deck. I'm known that's that's a big part of it. Type. You don't want to be stumbling too much. You don't want to like have to <clears throat> have cards that rely on other things. You know, like you don't want like you know like enchantments that you put on your creature that just rely on you know rely on you having you know as an example because that relies on you having to have a creature in play for it to do anything, you know, as, as an example. But yeah, you want your, you want to consistently be playing your spells. You want to be curving out. We're going to kind of sideboard like we did against Esper. Except for, I, I don't think I like Othakaya as much here in this matchup. And I like expansion more. But I still got to cut stuff. It's like last time, so I could, could just cut the lanterns again. All right, so this is 61. What's the last card? I mean, I guess I could see them playing. Actually, they're probably going to have War Boss, Thief of Sanity, stuff like that. Let's not play Ashiok. Let's play Kaya's Wrath instead. Kaya's Wrath can still take out a 4 4 Nickel Bolus, also. So 
So, Lord, this is this is a whole lot of decks and standard here. You can kind of go through there and peruse different different standard decks and see, you know, kind of see like what they have going on and everything, and um, you know, that'll give you kind of an idea of what you know, like what standard decks look like and like successful ones and everything. And it's a good resource there. Probably Thought Erasure. It's the Lantern. Okay. Good thing my mana's already perfect. Negate, Narset, Bedevil, Duress. So Narset's the thing that, that takes multiple cards. I'll keep Discovery. This this one's gonna be going for a while. Discovery will, you know, help help us smooth out our draws. Next turn, we'll have even more information about what we need to find with Discovery. The focused and disciplined. And I have just the trick for this. Dang. Well, they also whiffed. Um. Red, black. I can't. I guess I can't really have red, black, and blue up. Yeah, so I'm not gonna have, not gonna be able to play Angrass Rampage if we find it. Oh, right. That's the thing. Keep an open mind. <laughs> Well, at least both of their Narsets whiffed. <laughs> I know, the passive abilities. Yeah, our opponent whiffed twice. And they didn't play land, so they, they, you know, they probably just drew the spells. All right, Niv Mizzet reborn. Dang. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Dispersal the Narset and let them reset it? That doesn't seem like a good idea. The Krasis doesn't draw any cards. I mean, maybe I do just play Surveil too. Just want to look for Niv Mizzet. Or, you know, removal of the Kaya and Grass Rampage. I should have not tapped the red source. I let the auto tap happen there. Yay. Reborn. Oh, no. Can I not play it? Wait. Yeah, no, I can, right? Yeah, so blue, blue, red, black, white, green. Yeah, we good. We good. We good. We good. So that was still worth it. You know, like, I got rid of two cards I didn't want to draw with the lantern and the fortress. Can you imagine just, like, drawing fortress, drawing lantern? You know, it take forever to get to this reborn there we 
more go. I'll take those four. Such a great card whenever you're in a resource denial battle here like this. And then it's just suddenly, oh, by the way, we now have a lot of cards. Just good old five mana. Creature, trade with your removal spell plus draw four. Pretty good. All right, well. Let's have them sacrifice a Planeswalker. Any Planeswalker will do. Okay, they chose the Narset. Good choice, good choice. Now Thought Erasure time. Hostage Taker and Bedevil. I'll go ahead and take the Bedevil. And yeah, what lands? All right. So while well, Hostage Taker, you know, can take Krasis, but if I respond to the Hostage Taker trigger by disparking the Hostage Taker, then the Krasis doesn't leave. It doesn't get it doesn't get exiled and stay on the battlefield. So I was going to play Teferi there first, draw a card, and then the next turn play the big play a big Krasis for four or more, depending if we hit another land drop. Um, and then, un and then, you know, draw a card with Teferi. Un so after the Krasis comes down, we untap two lands. So we have the Dispark ready and then they try to Krasis the Teferi and we Dispark the Taker and then we don't lose our, or sorry, they try to <laughs> Taker the Krasis and then we Dispark the Taker and then we, uh, and then we win. Legion's Landing. Alright, pay two life to Discovery or nah. Yeah, yeah. Well, good Discovery. Got to ditch those Watery Graves. The less permanence that the white deck has in play, the harder it is to lux it on. Wow, really glad we got rid of both those watery graves right about now. Trust me, I have a plan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, nine lands gone already. I don't think you would want. I don't think you'd want to take out Lantern from this deck. Lantern's a very important piece of this deck. That's more like it. It's it's how you can have your your five colors. All right, wouldn't, wouldn't mind seeing Akaya's Wrath. This is hardly my worst defeat. Oh, 
don't want a Clarion just to kill 1 2 2, right? Nah. Gonna be able to play a real big crisis next turn. Alright, just gonna kill the... get his Venerate Luxon out of here. And everything, just gonna make sure that... If they have... You know, like, slow, slow down their clock a whole lot. You know, like, if they have... Um, if they have another removal spell for the Krasis, that we're not just suddenly dead. Pretty well. I can no longer stand by and watch. You need to slow down. All right, Vanguard out of here. And last card's another tribunal, is what I'm guessing. Hmm. Hurry. All right, so I can th thought erasure their last card, or I can play a Johnny and gain three life. I was kind of leaning towards a Johnny gain three life, honestly. Yeah, I think that's what I was gonna do. Okay, so another Kai's Wrath, more Clarions, more Knight of Autumns. Trophy's not bad. Uh, Othakai is good. We could play Dispark for Frenzy. I guess Dispark hits Tribunal also, so it's Tribunal and Frenzy. And Venerate Luxodon. Yeah, Dispark sounds pretty good. Okay, so 68. What do we want to cut? Is Golgari Queen really that good? What's Golgari Queen doing? Do we really need Thought Erasure here? Honestly, maybe taking out Thought Erasure. Game goes long. We want to be able to just, you know, respond to everything. We want all of our stuff to affect the battlefield. I guess we take out Little Teferi. Well, it's fair is good, like kind of good against like tokens, but we're just bringing in Knight of Autumn, Othakaya, more Tefnin, Clarions, all that kind of stuff. All right, so this is sixty-two. I guess ram Rampage. I don't know. Did did get rid of Vanguard? Yeah, I guess we should keep it to get rid of Vanguard. Um, gonna cut one lantern and oh no, are you kidding me? I still have time. Yeah, I was gonna go with the discovery for the other one. 
I still had time. I was looking at, I just looked at the timer. I just cut the, cut the thing. I thought I had time. Bleh, what is this card doing in my deck? What is this card doing in my deck? Dispark hits Luxodon, Conclave Tribunal, and Experimental Frenzy. Thought Erasure is not a good card to have. All right, well, I'm going to need land. Take them both. Please. All right, that thing's not a knight. I don't even have... What am I doing? That's we're doing this. Yeah, I'm just dead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm, I'm just dead. Might as well see what their last card is, though. And then actually sideboard and get these Thought Erasures and Vraska out of my deck. These cards, they're not supposed to be in my deck. That was a waste of a game. But at least it was... A game where we were on the draw, they had a good hand. Alright, maybe we'll just play one Dispark. Get all these extra Clarions in and Knight of Autumns. Alright, so Golgari Queen, Thought Erasure. Expansion. Now it's going to take out Teferi and one Lantern. Did I not just take out the Teferi? What did I click? I'm going to get that Clarion back in here. I need to reset Arena here. I don't know. Teferi can do some work for us, though. I don't want to keep a Teferi. I'll cut one of the, one of those Teferis, actually. Let's cut a big Teferi. Alright, game three. The card I'm most scared of is a Danto Vanguard. Don't want to see that card. Yeah, I really need to reset arena. You're seeing how, how long everything's taken. Good discovery. Get rid of lands. 
Good discovery there. Oh, come on. Why Vanguard? They forgot something. I think they forgot something. I'll take one of these Kaiser rats. Either one, in fact. I'll take this one. <clears throat> Good old draw six. The good old draw six. <laughs> oh. All right, Nimizet reborn. Three and one on the day. We're going to play one more match. We're playing five matches here with the with the deck. We'll play one more match, but I'm going to go ahead and get a reset of the client in. Is this a real deck? Yeah. We're doing good with it. Niv Mythic Reborn. Two mana sorcery, put target creature with power four or greater on the bottom of its owner's library. No, I don't like that card. I like creatures with power four or greater. I don't want them on the bottom of my library. Yep. Turn five, play your 6-6 six, six flyer, the draw six cards. It's not bad at all. The old Hintelin Harbor Godless Shrine Discovery opener. Let's keep both of these. That'll let me... That's like, you know, five mana required for a niv at Reborn. Do I want Golgari Queen? Green, white, green, white. Yeah, probably. No, I can't I can't draw ten. I don't have any gruel cards in my deck. So honestly, I can only draw like best case scenario for me is drawing nine. I think the most I've ever drawn is seven. I think I've drawn seven even like a couple of times. You ever curved Deafening Clarion into Vraska Golgari Queen before? That's what I just did.
and then into Hydroid Crisis. <laughs> Clarion into Vras into Golgari Queen into Hydroid Crisis. Oh, we are doing some stuff over here today. <laughs> Deafening Clarion into Go Rascal Golgari Queen into Hydroid Crisis. That was my turns four, five, and six. Fortune favors you. I am not going to reverse. So the problem with attacking is Nissa. Nissa making a 3-3 killing Teferi. So I miss out on the 4 points of damage there, though, but I think that's okay. This is hardly my worst defeat. Oh yeah, I should have yeah, you're right. I should have just sacrificed the Hinchelin Harbor earlier to Vraska. Um, not that I know of fight whales, but maybe somebody else knows. All right, I want all the clarions. I want all of the... Yeah, I'll take this out the Kaya. We want all of the Kaya's Wraths, and I want Knight of Autumns. Okay, so this is 66. Sixty-five. Sixty-four. I don't actually need Othakaya. Sixty-two. I like. No, I, I like uh, Thought Erasure. I think it's just these two planeswalkers. I think just a little Teferi and Vraska. We have a pretty streamlined deck here. Our niv Reborn's Reborn is not going to draw like a ton of cards. You know, I have like four Clarion, four Kaya's Wrath, you know, like that kind of stuff. Like we don't have a lot of variance in the mana cost right now. <laughs> yeah, Vraska did work last game. It means she needs a breather. She needs subbed out. Did too much work last game. Yeah, they have a lot of mana creatures. That's why I have four Clarions and four Kaya's Wraths. You know, like, so we are... We're doing all of the work with both of those. Wait, is there, there going to be a new Vivian in M20? Or whatever set we're talking about right now? I guess I just pay the two life. Uh, 
Okay. Well. Oh, I guess I need that. I guess I need that fifth land to be able to make sure I play Niv Mizzet. I should have just kept that that fifth land there. Gosh, please don't draw land here. Them drawing land back to back is a, would be a killer. I just drew one land. Please don't draw a land. Please don't draw a land. Please don't draw a land. I'm ditching the Krasis because I, I'm looking for something to kill Nyssa in case they draw land. Rampage will do. Rampage will do. If they have an enchantment removal spell, you know, like the, you know, if they use like an enchantment to get rid of Niv Mizzet, then we can have Teferi tuck the enchantment, Niv Mizzet enters again, and then we get the enter trigger again. Like necessarily great for us. Power surges through these lands. Okay. Be wary of the ground you walk on. It's only a matter. All right, now we get to thought erasure and everything. So, looking better. I guess that doesn't actually help me cast anything, so I should have just thought erasure first. I am in need of rest. Take these. Get a backup Niv Mizzet just in case. So they they know if they play Oketcher, I have the Rampage. Right now. So they're pretty stuck. So it, it incentivizes them to play. Like the Rampage is the only card they they know about. So it incentivizes them to play one of the creatures first, but then I can Thought Erasure it away. 
But yeah, then, then it's like, how do they raise the 6-6 flyer in the air? Okay. Four and one. <laughs> 13 damage draw stiff. This deck's sweet. Five color reborn. So this league, I would say that uh, expansion explosion, you know, we didn't, we really didn't need it. Um, yeah, expansion explosion was not, was not so good here. I do like, so I like explosion against, you know, in like control matchups, like where the games go long and, you know, gives you a draw step to like deal a lot of damage, draw a lot of cards. It's mostly for the explosion part uh, for the card. It gives us a blue red card. I played like other Niv Mizzet before in this deck, um, but it didn't really like that. Uh, Sahili's not really that good when I'm playing, trying to play a bunch of Deafening Clarions and Kaya's Wraths and things like that. So, good chance that, you know, like I don't have a Gruul card in here. It's possible you don't need an Izzet card either in here, honestly. Um, but I, I have, like, not. Not during these five matches, especially how I boarded out a lot. We didn't do anything with expansion, but I have. Uh, the last time I played it, I liked expansion uh, quite a bit because, you know, it was late game, like how these, these games go. Um, you know, have nine, especially with Chromatic Lanterns, have those things uh, ramp you. You know, you have nine, 10, 11 mana, and you just explosion, get a brand new hand, um, and pull away from there. But yeah, it worked out pretty well. The Tamiyo was disappointing. But it is also just kind of like circumstantial, like how like when I played it, I milled over like four really good cards that I didn't name, and then the Tamiyo died immediately. But I think I like it overall. Yeah, not not super sold on Ashiok. But pretty sweet. Trophy was good. I'm glad we had trophy. Pretty sweet deck here though. I like this one quite a bit. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it as well. But that's it here for Five Color Reborn. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.